Welcome back to another episode and a continuing look at Dark Castle Pictures, specifically Ghost Ship from 2002, starring Juliana Margulies, Gabriel Byrne, Isaiah Washington, Carl Urban. Now, guys, right off the bat, you know, if you've seen this film, the opening, the kill scene, it's one of the best kill scenes I've ever seen in any horror film. It is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I've liked this film ever since I saw it back in the day and it has not you know, my mind has not changed going back and watching it now after quite some time only an hour and a half but within that first 10 minutes there was such an amazing kill scene to open this film it just it's great therein lies the problem though a little bit for this film is because the bar is raised so high at the beginning that it has a hard time being able to keep up with that the rest of the film but it's still a really fun film it's definitely my favorite of the Dark Castle films that I've looked at so far and you know doing these reviews it's a good solid six and a half out of ten for me if this film could have continued throughout the entire duration with that kind of level of what they did the first at the very beginning this film could easily be a good eight and a, eight eight and a half for me hands down now there's not really a lot to this I mean the, the, the it's a basic premise to this film you have this ghost ship that has been lost on the open sea since 1963 there was nobody on this ship. So how did it get out there? How did it wind up the, out there for so long not being discovered? Well, basically, you have captain. The captain of the ship is of um, the salvage group is Gabriel Byrne. He has a salvage group that consists of uh, Carl Urban, Isaiah Washington, as well as Juliana Margulies. And they're approached by this gentleman who has discovered this cruise ship, which we'll find is a ghost ship, out in the open sea. And he thinks you know, it could be worth a lot of money. He wants to hire them to help him salvage this and bring it back and collect some money. So, a little reluctant at first, but they do decide to go ahead and do this. And when they get on the ship, that is when things, everything just spirals out of control for this salvage group. Things are not what they seem all the time in this film. And you'll find out. And again, I'm not going to spoil things because I really want people to check this out if you haven't seen it. No, they're not, they're not big, major, like, oh my gosh, like, twists. But there's a nice little twist at the end, you know, that you might be able, you know, probably going to see it coming a mile away, guys, when you see this. But it's still fun. It's still enjoyable. It's not going to ruin, you know, you guys watching it. You're still going to, you know, enjoy it quite a bit. But, you know, Juliana Margulies, she is the main, she's the star of this film. You know, she absolutely, she, you know, things are focused on her. There's a, um, a girl that she meets on the ship a ghost um this girl who's a ghost and she's kind of like just guiding her helping her out you know kind of trying to point the direction of where things you know what what happened on this ship and that's about as much as i'm going to say because i mean like i said guys it's definitely worth checking out now how does the film look the film looks really really good i had this on dvd back in the day upgraded to blu-ray and it looks good screen factory again knocks it out of the park with another release fantastic release and audio wise it sounds great guys it really does um i gotta tell you special features there are quite a few new audio commentary with uh director uh, steve beck new interviews with producer gil adler actor isaiah washington and makeup uh, spe um, special makeup effects supervisor jason baird which i see that they use a lot of the same people you know, between producers and directors, use a lot of the same people with these fit with these uh, Dark Castle films. Max on set, Ghost Ship. That I believe, if it's saying Max on set, I believe that was probably like a Cinemax special. You know, talking about the making of the film. Secrets of the Antonio Graza. That's the name of the ship. A closer look at the gore, and believe me, guys, you're gonna want to see that. Designing the Ghost Ship, and a theatrical trailer. So this is 1080p high definition widescreen. And it's, man, guys, I'm telling you, it just, it looks really, really good. There are some shots that just look like they were just shot, like, recently. Like, that's how clean and crisp and clear they look. It's really, really good. Um, really pleasantly surprised. I came home from work today, popped it on. I was like, you know what? It's time to watch some Ghost Ship. And that's, like, All right, that's exactly what I did. And I enjoyed every single second of it, just as much as I did back when I saw this on DVD for the first time. Does not disappoint. So, guys, before we go, let's take a look real quick. Here's the nice slip. Beautiful slip. Love the artwork that Screen Factory does. Let's pop it on out. 
seam cover on the inside. There's our disc and we have reversible artwork with the original poster for the film. So yeah guys, that was Ghost Ship, another Dark Castle film from Screen Factory. But before we go, I know I, my previous review, House on Haunted Hill, I did not show the reversible cover guys. So let's go back to House on Haunted Hill for a second and let's go ahead and take a look at the reversible artwork. All right, so now we have three films down, guys. One to go, and that will be 13 Ghosts. And 13 Ghosts, the review will be up tomorrow, and that will complete a week-long look at Dark Castle Films. Yeah, these guys, I'm telling you, they're better than what I remember some of these being. House on Haunted Hill was better than I remember it being. Uh, House, uh, House of Wax was better than it being, and Ghost Ship still it's just still it's still a lot of fun enjoyable enjoyable time watching this film and yeah guys like subscribe and comment if you get the chance and i'll catch you guys in another video take care